In today's video, I'm going to show you an app that helps you resurface old highlights from Kindle books you've read or even articles. Hey guys, welcome to Redeeming Productivity. My name is Reagan Rose. I talk about productivity and stewardship from a biblical standpoint to try to help Christians get more done and get it done like Christians. Recording video, sync them up. So I have a problem. I read lots of Kindle books and lots of articles and I highlight them as I go. But my problem is I never look at those highlights again. And maybe you're like me and you use an app like Instapaper or Pocket to save articles to read later. Well, when you read them in Instapaper or Pocket, you can highlight them, which I do. But then I never look at the highlights again. If you want to find them right now, you have to dig through the old article or old book or maybe log into Kindle and, and look at your highlights section. So what happens to the bits that stood out to us that we thought while we were reading that book or that article, we thought it was important, but now we never look at it again. What if there was a tool that resurfaced all of those highlights in one place so that you could review them? And what if it did it daily? <laughs> well, there is, and it's called Readwise. Readwise is an app that resurfaces highlights from Kindle, iBooks, Instapaper, Pocket, even physical books, and it delivers them to you in a daily digest. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how Readwise works, some of the features of it, the workflow I use, and then we'll talk about pricing and who Readwise might be best for. Here's how I use Readwise. I think of it as a simple workflow. I capture, I process, I review, and I sync. So let's talk about capture. So this is what happens as you're reading. So if you already are a Kindle reader or maybe you read on iBooks, you're already probably highlighting stuff if you're reading nonfiction in those books, things that stood out to you. Maybe if you're a student, you're highlighting for class and stuff. Uh, you also can capture things from articles that you've read if you use a service like Instapaper or Pocket. And so all of these different points where you're capturing are going to get served up into Readwise so that it can give you back out the highlights that you made. Another thing Readwise can do is it can actually capture things that you've highlighted from physical books. They have a great app that has really good OCR, or optical character recognition. So it can read the words on the page and turn them into text within Readwise and serve up those highlights to you as well. So you have some old books that you've really marked up, classics that you just love. You can go through and take little pictures with Readwise and it will grab those highlights for you. So that's capture. <laughs> where Readwise really shines is in the review phase. You're already capturing all that stuff within Kindle or iBooks or whatever. But what Readwise does is it acts as a middleman and it's gonna take all those highlights you captured and give them back to you in a way that's useful. And that comes in the form of a daily digest. So Readwise gives you five highlights every morning. And you can adjust that number if you want, but I like five because it's a good, simple, task I do every morning. I get an email from Rewise, I open it up, and I go through the five highlights that it's showing me from old things I've read. And you can interact with them too. You can discard them. You can say, Readwise, don't show this to me again. Uh, this wasn't really that important. You can tag them. So I have a little system where I'm tagging what I'm reading. So if I go to write a paper or an article or something on this topic in the future, I have a whole bunch of highlights that I just kind of casually have been tagging every morning. You can also favorite some of the highlights and Readwise will know to show you that one more often. Some things maybe that you're wanting to memorize, you could do this with passages of scripture uh, or things that you just, ideas you want to be represented to you uh, throughout life so that you're constantly being reminded about them. And the third part of the Readwise workflow is sync and process. So Readwise is awesome just for this review part of the highlights, but what I really, really love about it is it has the ability to sync with tools that you're already using. Readwise can sync your highlights with Evernote, Rome Research, or even Notion. So what it will do for you is as you're adding new highlights, it's going to be syncing those into your preferred notebook. So there's no more of this going and logging into Kindle, copy and pasting all of your highlights, removing all the stupid formatting and the extra metadata added. It's going to do this by itself in the background for you. And what I like about this syncing process is that it allows me to process things that I'm reading. So I will, if it's a book I'm really reading deeply, taking lots of highlights about, I will be also going into my notebook and I will look through those highlights and I'll kind of organize them and I'll capture my own thoughts on them 
as I'm kind of rethinking about what were the main arguments of this book, what do I think is interesting, what are things I might want to write about or talk about at some point, and that allows you to engage with books at a much, much deeper level. So that's a, like a cool bonus feature of Readwise, which isn't even the main thing it does. So for me, I use Readwise for kind of processing, thinking deeply about articles and books that I found super interesting. I use it also to make like Twitter fodder. So often things that I'm reading, uh, interesting ideas, I will be represented with those each morning in the review and I'll take some of those and maybe I'll share a quote or sometimes I'll share a thought that that highlight kind of made me think about. Obviously, this has major benefits to your thinking. It's going to make you engage more deeply with books and articles, uh, but it also makes you a better writer, I think, too. If you write online like I do, it's good to have these ideas that you're already thinking are interesting when you highlighted them re-shown to you and even giving you the opportunity to process them at a deeper level in a note-taking app. So I think of Readwise as kind of this middleman who's bridging the gap between what I'm reading and what I'm wanting to write about later. And so he kind of holds his hands between my Kindle books and my articles and my note-taking software. And I love that. It's worth it to me because that saves me so much time and it also introduces a level of serendipity or providence kind of where I'm being re-shown things that I found interesting in the past. And sometimes it just hits you different when you're in a different context. I have books that uh, I highlighted in Kindle years and years ago, and those some mornings highlights from those books are re-shown to me. And I'm like, whoa, I haven't thought about that concept in years, or that's a very interesting way to put that. Otherwise, I never would have seen that. I never would have gone and dug back through the highlights of that individual book if Readwise hadn't been there to do it for me. So who is Readwise good for? Um, I think obviously if, if you do writing in any capacity, it's gonna be helpful for you. Uh, if you're just a learner, someone who wants to get more out of what you're reading, it's gonna be good for you. Students especially, I think, will benefit from Readwise. If you read eBooks uh, for class or you're doing research and stuff like that, this is a great tool to kind of bridge the gap for you between reading and eventually writing based on that research you've done. I also think students of the Bible or pastors could really benefit from Readwise. Uh, there's a lot of reading uh, that goes on if you're someone who studies the Bible at any depth and it's really nice to have a tool that's going to take that reading and aggregate the best parts of it, the things you thought were the best of it into something you can use later. So I think this would be a massive benefit to somebody who studies the Word of God regularly. Okay, let's talk pricing for a second. Readwise is not free, unfortunately, but there are two tiers to their pricing. There's Readwise Lite, which is $4.49 per month, and that does all of the highlight syncing and representing them to you uh, in kind of a daily summary of five highlights. And if that's the only part you want, a little less than five bucks a month for it is not a bad price, I don't think. But the one I use is kind of their higher level tier, and that's $7.99 per month, and that includes the syncing with your note-taking apps. So with Rome Research, Evernote, and Notion, and I think they wanna do more in the future. It also has tags and notes and other features that it includes too at that price point. So is Readwide worth it for the price? For me, I am pretty cheap and I don't pay for a lot of software as service things. I, unless it's really, really valuable, it's going to save me time, then I don't want to spend money on it. Readwise does save me time. And it doesn't just save me time, it helps me become a better thinker, a better reader, and honestly, a better writer. So that's worth it to me. That's worth it for the seven bucks or whatever it is a month that it costs. So it might be different for you, but I do think Readwise is at least worth trying. And you can try it. You can get a free month if you use the link that I've shared. That'll also give me a free month, so thank you very much if you try it. And if you don't find that you're using it or it's that helpful, then just cancel. But for me, like I said, it is useful. If you're someone who already does use Readwise, I would be interested in your thoughts. Uh, what are some ways that it's been beneficial to you? Do you think the price is worth it? And are there ways that you're using it that I didn't mention here that you think might be helpful to me?